Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. And yes, another MDT 2013 video. I think on the last one we did together, uh, we upgraded the Windows Assessment and Development Kit, uh, version 8 to 8.1. Uh, and the next step is, what is it, Bernardo? Well, the next step is we need to upgrade our MDT 2012 to 2013. So at the bottom of the video, at the description part, there's a link for you to download the application that you need. Download that and you can place it into your MDT server. So as you can see on the screen, I have already the Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit for Windows 8.1. It was successfully installed. Uh, four gigs is about four gigs, so it's pretty big. I'm um, going to close this up and I want to show you guys that this machine um, is running MDT 2012 update one. You got to make sure that you're running update one so you're able to upgrade to MDT 2013. And yes, I'm happy that this popped up. Um, the reason why is because uh, because we upgraded to Windows ADK 8.1, the current MDT that we have on this virtual machine uh, is not going to work with 8.1. So we have to either downgrade to 8 or we have to and you know upgrade our uh, Microsoft deployment uh, toolkit server so I'm gonna press OK and I just want to show you guys that I am running uh, MDT 2012 update 1 so let's get started let's get started with the uh, with the upgrade now the best thing about this guys is that you don't have to uninstall MDT 2012 you could just run the installation file and it will take care of the rest It's actually gonna remove everything from the server keep the deployment share with all your applications all your out-of-box drivers and your operating systems and it won't mess up but this is a but um, it's you have to upgrade your deployment share so I'm gonna show you guys what I mean so I'm gonna close this folder up and uh, this is the setup wizard you're gonna click next accept the terms hit next uh, by default is gonna drop everything in the C drive best practice in my eyes what I like to do is I like to redirect the MDT stuff or end the deployment share to a partition drive like a D drive or E drive I don't like to put everything on the C drive because you never know it gets corrupt and you lose all your information so uh, let's leave it in the C drive for now hit next I don't want to participate so hit next and hit install now the process of installation takes not too long it's pretty quick so that's the best thing about MDT 2013, especially 2012, 2010. The installation was fast. I'm kind of surprised that Microsoft is actually providing this stuff for free for a lot of people. So it's pretty cool. I've seen other people use MDT on a Windows 8 machine or a Windows 7 machine. So yeah, you could use it. You don't have to do it on a server. Uh, so as you can see, installation is completed. Awesome. So let's press finish. And at the bottom right here in my taskbar, I had the old MDT 2012. As you see, it's blank because it was removed. And let's go into my start. And I'm going to right click my deployment workbench. And I am going to add it. Uh, I'm going to pin it to the taskbar. And let's click on it. Let's, let's start our workbench up. And there we go. Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2013 overview is installed. Awesome. But I want you guys to make sure expand your deployment share node and pay attention to what your deployment share has it has an exclamation point this exclamation point is a no-no uh, you would think automatically will upgrade it, the deployment share will upgrade when you upgrade your MDT to 2013 but that's not the case so let's click on it and you get this nasty little warning right here that uh, you need to upgrade your deployment share to work properly with the new version that you have so it's pretty easy it's not that hard guys so we're gonna right click on it and update deployment share got this nice little dialog box and what you're gonna do is just hit next and let it do your business and that's it guys that's that's all you have to do and that's about it guys you, you have to wait about five to ten minutes uh, when it's done, your your node of your deployment share, you have your application, you have your operating system, uh, you have your out of box drivers and all that stuff. As you can see right now on the screen, it said finish. So let's hit finish. And let's expand the MDT deployment share. And as you can see, I have everything that I need, and I'm I'm happy that I have it. I have my task sequence from my MDT 2012 and I have my operating system I think on the next video guys I'm gonna show you how to import an operating system and also create a task sequence the operating system that I'm gonna be working with would be Windows 
uh, Windows 8 Pro 64 bit so stay tuned on that if you have any comments or questions leave them at the bottom of the video at the comment section and don't forget about hitting that like button before you guys go and I catch you guys on the next MDT video peace out